Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm Hiro Ushio, the Comfort Ninja Hero Galaxy Slime. Today we shall be playing an amazing game, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Wait, Hiro, what do you mean, maybe? What do you, what do I, what do you mean, what do I mean? I mean, maybe. Oops. Maybe means maybe. Alright. Looks like Emily and Nicholas are on the same... Formed a resistance group with other second years sighted along the Gorelia by road. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot something. Oh, right! I think I know where I'm supposed to go. Where do you want to go? Uh, nothing here on the west side. That's a mirror. Center gate. Watchtower. I think right here. Leave it to me. Hmm. Interesting. Start looking for them. There's one. Laura and the rest of Class 7, too? I've been looking forward to seeing you again for quite some time, Monica. I'm so glad to see you're safe and sound. Same to you! I've been so worried all this time! But I'm happy to see you were able to find the rest of our classmates. Yeah, we all finally got back together in the Grom not too long ago, actually. But we didn't come to tell you that. There's actually something we wanted to ask you. So Reed explains the situation. Me? Fight as the part of the courageous crew? Um, I'm glad you took the time to come out and find me, but I can't imagine I'd prove all of that useful to you. I may be a military academy student, but I'm not exactly a natural brawler, especially compared to you, Laura. You don't have to take up a sword to come and fight with us, though. Reed's right. Even in the military, not every soldier stands in the front lines with a gun in hand. Success comes from all kinds of people making the most of their talents to strengthen the group as a whole. And speaking personally, having you with us would really put me at ease, allowing me to fight my very best. Well... I have picked up some skills helping out with the cooking and some other basic tasks here at the camp. I don't know how much that knowledge will really help you. We got our first cook! But... I'll do all I can to lend a hand while with whatever needs doing on board. I look forward to having you on our side, Monica. Hmm. <laughs> Glad to have you along. Alright. That's three. But there should be one more here, I think. Let's go to our notes. See, I don't know where this is. I don't know where he wants us to go. I just know he wants us there at a camp. I don't know which camp he's talking about. Oh, is that a student? Yep, that's a student right there. There's one here, too. Oh, what's up, guys? Long time to see. Rex, this is the last place I thought I'd find you. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I've been following the Imperial Army around and getting up close photos of the war. But I hear that stuff you guys have been getting up to is even crazier. I don't know if I'd say what we've been doing is any crazier than getting photos on the battlefield. Sounds like you've been putting in a lot of legwork. Anyway, given that we just so happen to run into each other and you know what we're doing, want to join the Courageous? Me on the Courageous? Seriously? We could always use more people. The more the merrier. If you want to take photos, uh, being able to fly around the country would be a smart move too. Um, you really know how to tempt a guy. But nah, I'll pass. Maybe another day. Nah? What do you mean nah? Look, I put a lot of thought into what I can do to help this country when it's slowly sinking into hell like this. Then I realized I'm a cameraman. 
With all the media control, I'm one of the few people who can capture the truth of this war. And I could do that way better on the battlefield next to the army on the RMP than I could on the Courageous. Sorry. I see. You've clearly given your choice a lot of consideration. I respect that. Cool. We done here? Good luck with your stuff, though. It's been neat to follow. I'll be doing my uh, thing down on the ground. Alright then. Just don't get too gutsy out there on the battlefield. Alright, so uh, we couldn't get our camera guy, but that's okay. Alright, let me have one over here. Uh, no matter where I look, I can't find a thing. Why won't this war hurry up and fizzle out already? Hey, Monk, still here I see. Oh, it's you guys. Nice to see that you're all happy and healthy. Nice to see you're alive, at least. Anyway, we've got something to ask you. Right now we're trying to gather up uh, Academy students to help us fight aboard the Courageous. So we're, we were wondering. Nope, not in the mood. Not right now. Anyway, as you know, I'd normally jump at the chance. We all know how much material uh, I'd give, uh, give me. But there's nothing but news on the radio these days. So what's the point of sending in material? Uh, who will read it? Why even look? Oh, sure. Well, we'll give you some space then. Oh, well. There's no point pressing the issue. A man that focused won't change his mind. Guess we'll just have to come back some other time. So there's some students we have to leave behind because I guess they're, we're not ready to take them with us? Which is bullshit. Alright, well that just means there should be other things here. Like the side quest. There you are. It's General Craig. Oh, Elliot, did you see my request? Sure did, Dad. You want us to help you find a missing civilian, right? Although it looks as though you're busy with a meeting. Should we come back a, late, uh, a little later? Please, don't hold back on our account. We're currently busy, but that's all the more reason to get this taken care of. He's right. It was because we don't have the time to handle it ourselves that we called upon, or we called you to begin with. What's more, wasn't it your platoon who took that civilian to begin with, Gaul? Yes, sir. My men are in charge of patrolling the area and taking any civilians, um found wandering it into our safe custody. The one we called you here about was found wandering the highway a few days ago. After that, he remained in the base camp without causing trouble until this morning when he simply disappeared. We haven't the faintest clue where he is. As I said earlier, we don't have the time to look for him. But even so, we can't very well sit back and twiddle our thumbs. That was why we chose to call on you. I see. Sounds like the perfect job for us. Yep, fits us to a T. My thoughts exactly. As such, I'd like to entrust the task to you if you're willing. So how about it? Hmm. We accept. I don't think this is something we could ignore in good con uh, conscience. So we'd be happy to accept. Excellent! I'll leave finding him to you, then. It's possible that someone here in the camp may have seen him leave. Perhaps asking around may be a good place to start. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Captain. Other than that, I'll leave it to you to decide how best to approach this. But if the principal army decides to attack, withdraw to safety immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Alright. We must find the person immediately. Where are you, random bystander? Hmm. Oh, we can talk to you. You're looking for the civilian who was here, sirs? He spent most of his time wandering around the camp. Always struck me as a man who wouldn't inadvertently stumble into trouble. Really? You wouldn't happen to have any idea where he could be now, would you? 
I'm afraid not. I wish I could be a little more helpful. Alright then. Thank you for your time. Alright, so he don't know shit. What about you guys? No? Okay. What about you? You don't know. What about the map? Can the map tell me who I can talk to next? There's people over there. Peru grounds. The rest area. Ah! You're looking for the young man who is in camp at the moment? Yes, he does come here from time to time. He always seems so sad. I tried to strike up a conversation with him this one time, thinking he cheer, uh, I'd cheer him up. And it did too. He went out seeming all cheerful and motivated afterwards. Sounds like we're dealing with a pretty simple-minded guy here, doesn't he? You wouldn't happen to know where he might be now, would you? Ah, uh, sorry, but I'm afraid not. We don't have much to go on, then. Hmm. Useless! Oh, there we go. We running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, got to follow my rainbow. This way. You! You're looking for the civilian who was here, I believe. I hope his sudden disappearance doesn't confirm the suspicions I had about him by being a spy. I'm not sure there's much evidence pointing in that direction right now. But, either way, do you remember when you last saw him? Just this morning, actually. He was standing off in the corner of the camp, muttering to himself. Couldn't make out what he was saying. But it seemed like he was looking for someone. That doesn't give us much to go on, that would prove helpful in finding him. Yep. More useless information. Alright, this should be the last one. You! You're looking for a civilian, right? Oh, yes. He did come around every time we were serving a meal. He seemed kind of... pitiable. Really. Spilled his soup a few times, and always gave his this odd, insincere smile when he did. Oh, right. Do you remember when you last saw him around? This morning's breakfast, actually. Haven't seen him since. But who knows when he'll pop up again. Alright. Well, thanks for your time. Not much luck here, either. Hmm, interesting. Oh. You! Phew, that was a tough job. Oh, I was expecting to find you here, Elliot. Hi, would you mind if we asked you something? After confirming it was okay, they asked Sergeant Major Emmons if he had seen the civilian. Oh, he's missing, isn't he? I did actually see him roughly an hour ago. Really? Where did you see him? He was heading in the direction of the fortress. I couldn't tell you more than that, though. What would he be doing there? Indeed. I can't imagine what business a civilian would have in the ruins of a fortress. It seems our destination is set. Yeah, let's go after him. Thank you for the information, sir. Oh, it was nothing. Best of luck finding him. Great, now we gotta go to a fortress. Ooh, big hole in the floor. Lots of holes on the floor. And that's a big hole. No matter how many times I see what's left of this fortress, it doesn't get any less shocking. It's not as though we had any real personal attachment to this fortress, but to see this happen to it. Still, this is no time to be feeling overwhelmed by the scenery. We need to focus on finding that missing civilian. How about we start by combing this area? Hopefully we'll find him soon. Hmm. I felt like I just sensed something strange. Maybe it was just my imagination. Let's save.
according to the map, is going to be over there. So if I go this way... Oh wait, can I use my... Let's ride. Yeah. We got a motorcycle. We... That is a tank over there. Why is he over by a tank? I'll leave it there. Hmm. Oh, you're those Thor students. What are you doing here? We could come under attack at any moment or any time. I suggest you hurry back to base. Cap where it's safe. Actually, we're here looking for someone. We tell the soldiers about the missing civilian. A missing civilian, huh? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. He just came back from patrolling the by road. Didn't see anyone there at the very least. Sounds like he must be some somewhere in this fortress then. Let's keep up the search. Thank you both for your assistance. Let's get back on our... Where the hell's our bike? Someone stole our bike. Oh. Wait a minute. Blue box was something good. For Fee and Sarah, must level 66. If you want a little beer, get a pint glass. If you want more, a tankard. But if you want to really get smashed, pour it into Bale Steam. Hmm. Alright, so we know where this is at. But we, uh, none of our people are like at 76, so we need to come back on this one later. So if he wasn't over here, over there. Let's get going! Meow. Oh, this is as fast as we can go. It's a person! Hello, person! Ah, I can't find him anywhere. I even came all this way to see to this scary looking place to find him. Ricky! Where are you? If you're there, say something. Could this be? Yeah, I think this is our guy. He looks oddly familiar, too. Well, whatever. We should probably ask him what he's doing here. So you came here looking for a friend you were separated from just before the war broke out? Yeah, Ricky went to Heimdall on his own, and right after that it got occupied by the Alliance. I've been all over the place looking for him. Even to Heimdall Station, but I can't find him anywhere. So sorry, Ricky. If only I had gone with you. I see. That is quite worrying. Yeah. I know as well as anyone what it feels like to not know where your loved ones are. Elise? It's really scary, seeing what's going on over in Crossbell. The last girl in... The last girl to win my heart is still here, there too. Oh, frat, please be okay. You may have turned me down, but I'll never forget your beautiful smile. Bro! Well, regardless, um, now we know what you're doing here. I still don't think you should be coming to a place this dangerous without some type of permission, though. This area could become a battleground at a moment's notice. We should get you back to the base camp. I suppose you're right. Can't say I like this place very much anyway. It's not like I'm going to find Ricky here, so I don't mind coming with you. We'd appreciate that. Okay, we've done our part. Let's uh, tell the Lieutenant General what we that we found him. Uh 
hell is that? Is that Ricky? Anton is resting in the mess hall at the moment. He's been warned not to cause any more trouble, so he should hopefully behave from now on. I see. You've all done a fine job. Agreed. I couldn't be more, uh, more pleased with the results. And it sounds as though you didn't find him at a moment, a moment too soon. What do you mean? We received a report of an unidentified large monster appearing not too long ago. Inside Gorelli Fortress, no less. Unidentified? Is it some new species? It must have only just appeared, too, because we didn't see anything like that when we were there. Correct. Oh, correct on both counts. In truth, this isn't the first time this has happened. We've been receiving reports of strange monsters appearing out of nowhere in various locations for several days now. Could they be cryptids? If their appearance is really is if their appearance is really is due to the chaos in Erebonia becoming greater, could this be happening all over the country? We would like to take care of the problem ourselves, but unfortunately we simply don't have the spare manpower. It pains me to leave them be, but we've no choice until the war situation has settled down to some degree. This is just one more reason. Erebonia has become an increasingly dangerous land. I suggest you remain vigilant if you intend to continue your travels. We'll be sure to do so, sir. Good. In, in lighter news, please take this as thanks for helping us today. Hands or goggles? What you've done was only possible because you chose to remain neutral. We'll be counting on you if anything else should come up. We'll be happy to help. Feel free to get in touch if you ever need us. Alright. Now let's see what those goggles do, huh? Equipment, accuracy 50, crit, and it prevents blind. That's alright. It's not the best, but it's okay. It doesn't look like we can get anyone else here. Alright, now we're going to find the rest of them. are you two? You're supposed to be in the resistant group with other second years sighted in Gorelia by road. Where the hell's the Gorelia by road? Where do you want to go? There's the proving ground. There's the fortress. The by road's right here. Leave it to me! Look, there's the monster over there. Here's the by road. Hmm. Let's ride. All right. Well, this is okay. We can still find them on the by road. I suck at driving this. I'll get used to it eventually. There they are. There they are. Oh, now, now here are some familiar faces. Whoa, it's class seven. I'm glad we finally found you two. 
Long time no see, Reed. What are you guys doing here? Well, after a brief explanation of what's going on, you guys have certainly been busy. You're behind that ash-colored knight everyone's been talking about. <laughs> Figures, Class Seven's always been pulling off crazy stuff like that thingy. Hey, <laughs> we're not that bad. Uh, you've been setting up those transmission relay devices, right? Yeah. We've been using them to gather intel. I have to say, though, getting by with the bare minimum of ingredients while doing it has been a struggle. So he says, but we've been having fine dining pretty much every day thanks to his amazing cooking skills. I'm practically eating better than when I was cooking for myself at Thor's. Haha, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh yeah, we managed, uh, we actually met uh, Theresia while we were in Barahard. She was pretty worried about you. So she managed to get home safely then. Phew. I'll have to pay her a visit soon. If you need help with that, we'd be glad to help you make it happen. How about it? Want to come aboard? As much as I'd love to give you an instant yes, I can. I'm sorry. We've still got some business to take care of first. What might that entail? Well, you kind of caught us uh, while we were getting ready to set up some relay devices around here. This is the last place on our list, actually, so we shouldn't be long. Would you mind waiting until we're done? Oh, I see. Mm, helping them out with this might make life easier for all of us. Help out. We might as well help out since we're already here, right? Not to mention things will go much quicker if we divide our up the work. Are you sure? <laughs> Thanks. That'd honestly be a huge help. Here you go, Reed. This is your batch. Relay devices. We got six of them. Huh. They're smaller than I expected. Well, yeah. They're designed to be attached to orbit lights. We have uh, George to thank for these handy little guys. His handy works as impressive as ever. They'll be pretty hard to find, too. Nice. We'll leave you in charge of setting them up on the lights around this area. Try to set them a uh, roughly equal distance apart. We'll set our batch up on the road that runs parallel to the Transcontinental Railroad. Then we'll meet you back here once we're done. Sound okay? Understood. Let's get to it then. We should remain worried that we don't get caught off guard by monsters while setting these up. That's doable. Ha! Ha! Oh, we just instantly kill him? Damn. So these right here, right? Hmm. Well, there's one near us, and it's this way. Guess we'll start with this one. That should probably be it. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see. Let's ride. And the next one is up ahead. Two down, we're making good progress. This next one's up there. Where'd my bike go? Screw it, I'm running. Oh, what the hell? Why that happen? Ha! Halfway done now. And do I go this way? Okay, so maybe we have to go to the other area. Let's ride.
Four down, two to go. Come back. Come back. Yeah. One more. That should be the last one. No, it's actually over here. Yay! I'm guessing Nicholas and Emily are done now too. Let's uh, get back to them. And hopefully they're okay. Let's ride. Sileki, how you doing? Oh shit. That's a Vespi mode if I ever saw him one. What it doing? Hold on. Let me see it. <laughs> the iced go high. It's the Kohi. What you doodling? What you doing? Kill them. Yay! New emote ideas! Hey! Oh wait, hey, welcome back. Guess if you're here, you're all done. We are. Indeed, and the same goes for you? Yeah. Did you run into any trouble? Nope. We've got all six of them set up fine. Now the question is whether we set them up correctly or not. Nah, no need to worry about that actually. We've already run a transmission test and everything checked out. We're good to go. <laughs> good job, team. Does that mean you're ready to board the Courageous then? <laughs> Count us in. Things will be a cinch now that you've got the Blazing Maiden on board. I'll be sure to pull up my weight so we can get around to picking up uh, Theresia and Ferris too. <laughs> I can't deny that making food on the Courageous has me pretty excited. I'll make sure that everyone on board gets the best meals I can provide. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Emily. Nicholas. Yes, now we have a good chef. Alright, back on the Courageous we go. Chiana. See. Right. We're supposed to be able to report our completed tasks in bulk using this. <laughs> Good thing we learned how to use an horrible computer in class. Hmm? What was that? Oh, looks like you picked the perfect time to report. Go ahead and press the answer button below the screen. Oh, sure. Thank you for the hydrate. Green baby, talk to me. It's all right. You can admit you just wanted to hear my voice. Oliver, I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. Prince Oliver? How are you? I thought you went to Western Erebonia. Oh, I did. I can't tell you exactly where I am now, but I've been on quite the journey since we parted. I'm transmitting this audiovisual signal from my current location. Really? Wow. I had no idea that it was possible to do that from so far away. <laughs> well, the standard system needs to be modified a bit for it to work. Anyway. Let's get right down to checking that report of yours. Hmm. Interesting. Marvelous! You've ranked up! This is just a little something from me. I knew I could count on you. Anyway, keep sending in these reports whenever you're able. As long as you've got something to fill me in on, you can call whenever you like. 
Of course. Sorry for troubling you with this when you're clearly busy with matters over in the West, though. Well, I did give you that responsibility in the first place, and there's no length I wouldn't go to for my beloved students. Still, even though that workaround lets me talk to you basically any time, I can't keep the connection up for too long. Uh, your highness? Olivier, we need to get moving! We're heading to Parm for now! Be right there, my love. Well, at any rate, it seems I must bid you adieu for now. Duty calls. May Adios be with you. And good luck out there. Oh. Things must be pretty difficult over there right now. Still, if he's going out of his way just to talk to you, it means he wants to, so don't feel guilty. You're the best way he can get the inside scoop on what's happening here, too, so everyone win. True enough. That's a good way of looking at it. We'll need to make sure we never let him down. Okay, for a minute I thought I screwed up. Alright, so now we gotta fight in the first years. Alright, so you're in Nord Highlands, which is where we need to go later. And you are in the Watchtower and also in Nord Highlands. Okay, so we have to go to the Nord Highlands. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he swings a little. Yeah, a little. Wait, who does? The prince? Where do you want to go? What the hell's up here? Full speed ahead! Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Come and join the Hero and Slime Army. Always say you're a good slime, and remember to be a hero to yourself as well as to others. Take care, everyone. See you in the next video.